Hello everyone on YouTube and a happy new year to all of my friends, my subscribers, everyone's uh, videos I look at and I look at them often and you guys are doing some great work, uh, showing off some great books, great collections and I look forward to seeing all of your videos. I want to show you I think just three books tonight I've picked up since October of uh, 2013 and uh, the first one I'm going to start off with is a Golden Age Submariner comic and this book came out in the fall of 1944 it's a German war cover and I purchased this book from someone on the um, CGC forum site his name is uh, Podboy66 and he's a collector of uh, timely comics apparently it's got some great collection uh, of books and he sells them I guess if he comes across doubles um, in his collection and he had this one up for sale in October this one and a few others uh, this one's restored and I'll show you where the restoration is in a minute just want to show you the great cover I mean amazing Alex Schomburg artwork on the front cover uh, this, this book's restored and he allowed me to pay it off uh, using time payments um, I use that whenever I can if I want to make a nice purchase on a on a classic and if I don't have the money up front I'll ask about time payments so Podboy 66 did allow me to uh, use time payments and I paid it off at the end of December book cost seven hundred fifty dollars um, originally bought I think from Metropolis he told me and it is a very fine plus book um, but with restoration I just want to show you guys a couple pages in here I don't think any of us are familiar with the way the Submariner was drawn back then very different from today um, looking at a slab copy Alan Simon, Gustav Schroeder and Jimmy Thompson were also involved with this book. I, I recognize none of those names, but it's really good to know that you can see them on the slab and give these guys their proper due. I mean, that's some great artwork. So I think the interior artwork could be wrong. Uh, it's done by Jimmy Thompson or uh, Gustav Schroeder or both of them. There's one page in here I want to show you guys in particular. It's a uh, full page ad with Captain America discussing the war effort, which I think you'll like. Kind of jumped out at me. What I'd like to do with this book is uh, have it slabbed. And we have an upcoming uh, convention here in New York, the Mike Carbo Comic Convention, March 1st. It's a great convention. It's, uh, it's not as big, of course, as the one in October, the big Comic Con at the Javits Center. This one's much smaller but it's strictly comics and I've been going to it the last couple of years it's, it's about twenty dollars just to walk into the place at the uh, Penn Plaza Hotel some great artwork so I will go to that one CGC will be on site and I think it's best that I slab this book so I stop looking at it I don't really open it too much but I wanted to show you guys the uh, interior artwork there's the Nazi villain Timely war covers were great. This is the full page ad of uh, Captain America and the Sentinels of Liberty. A vital message from Captain America. It's, it's, it's something else, it really is. I want to show you the back cover. Show you exactly where the restoration is. The colors on the front cover are amazing. I don't know if there's any color touch to this book. I guess I'll find out once I get it slabbed. Spine's in very good shape. And here's the back cover. And the restoration to the book is right right there. Apparently this piece was replaced and uh, noted by the seller which I thought was great. A lot of his books are uh, 
not restored. This one was, and it made it affordable for me. I'm glad I bought it, and I do appreciate when uh, sellers note that. Let's take a look at another book. I had um, purchased back in August from Metropolis here in New York a raw copy of Avengers number three. And um, they graded it as a 7.0. It came back from CGC at the same grade. I think they're pretty good with their grading. They're usually right on the money. A few books I've purchased over the last couple of years in raw condition, I send them out to CGC, I get the same grade back. So that's Avengers number three. Really nice addition to my collection. The last book is a book I purchased from a fellow YouTuber. Uh, his name is Tech31Kid. If you haven't seen his videos, uh, you have to start watching them. Subscribe to his channel. Uh, this is uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 13. First appearance of Mysterio. It's a low-grade copy, which uh, you know he told me it was. And I said, fine. And I purchased it. And I'm glad I did because I don't have that many Amazing Spider-Man books, especially Ditko books in my collection. So I'm glad I got this one. Read the story right away. It's a classic, as you guys know. That's really all I have for today. I'm glad you guys uh, will take a look at this video. Let me know what you think. And uh, I know this is sad, but I'm going to go watch Downton Abbey. Back in the day in 2007, on a Sunday night, I would have watched The Sopranos. But they're long since gone, so my wife got me hooked on this Downton Abbey stuff. So, until next time, take care and be safe. I'll talk to you soon.